How do? It's time to put another car around the time test track too. And, uh, well, it definitely looks the part. Looks fantastic, to be honest. I really like the look of it. And it's this one here. I've always wanted to put it around track, see how it would do. Did uh, I saw Pantera GT5 in real life? And uh, here it is the uh, Lampadati Viserys, and that's where you can buy it. It's a deleted vehicle at the moment, so if you want one, get yourself down there. The part was 612 and a half grand. But the thing is with this, I tried it round my track, tried all these spoilers at least three or four times each, ended up on that one carbon aerodyne spoiler it's the only one that leveled it out all the rest were absolute rubbish and i thought this car's garbage so it can't be that bad surely so yeah more stable with that on please like and subscribe if you like and we'll have a look at this thing see what it can do say it's got all upgrades and stuff especially spoilers which took ages this thing i took it round 30 times testing all different spoilers say I landed on this spoiler so this one took a good 10, 10 shots to actually get a decent lap out of it but I kind of worked it out look at the size of back tyres, they're huge great aren't they, really good and you can tell by the noise on it it's powerful another thing as well, like going around here I thought, well you keep your finger down on trigger, which might sound obvious it's, it seems to be absolutely flying but if it's not pointed in the right direction, it's got that much bad understeer. Oversteer, which one of the name? Oversteer. <laughs> it just sends you everywhere, <laughs> into the side, everywhere. So make sure you're pointing it in the right direction before you put your foot down. Or your finger on trigger. Or your foot on trigger. <laughs> so that sounds bad for me. But here we go. Yeah, it, it's too much of a brute to handle even with plenty of practice I mean I like the car, I like the look of it I like the fact it's a Pantera I like the tyres, I like the noise but the handling's just a bit too bad for me really 612 and a half grand fair enough, sort of fortune but it is for what it is sort of buying it on looks alone really because that's my opinion anyway the noise and tyres fair again yeah, but it does a couple more little things, which I'll have a look in a sec at the end of this race. Uh, very disappointed with it. I don't know why it just ain't got the grip or the steering to match. It would have been a brilliant car then, because it is quite a fun, exciting, noisy car. You know, here we go. Under two minutes, not bad for 600 grand, I suppose. Uh, here we, yeah, you can put guns on it. There they are, front ink grill. I thought, should I, shouldn't I? I know they're absolute garbage, but it's an added extra in it. I probably end up keeping this car, put in my collection. Look, look at them, he's best just running them over. It took ages to blow that car up. Ages, but there it is. Not bad. Yeah, just a pity about the steering. Just aim it and just fire, basically, as in the accelerator, not the guns. Four stars. Yeah, it's a bit of a disappointment, really, because it looks really good. It's one of the nicest looking cars in game. But looking at tyres, it don't deserve four. There you go. You could have three and a half. I don't know why they made it so bad. There's a few leap to mind that are just as bad or worse. But I'm looking at this one. Yeah, get out of my way. I'm disappointed. Well, if that was any use to you. Why not give it a shot? Like I say, it's a removed vehicle, so time's uh, of the essence. If, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.